Good morning folks, this is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Eritrade. Welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. The price action in, over in Europe is very positive today. The focus is once again on this vaccine news among traders. Remember, we've seen this episode last week as well. Remember on Monday when Moderna came out with this preliminary results of this possible vaccine about coronavirus. Markets rallied. In fact, the Dow Jones index was up over 1,000 points at one particular time. And guess what? Today, the Dow Jones futures have already surged well over 500 points. As you can see in the chart, the momentum for the Dow Jones index still remain very positive and everything with respect to technical analysis is still pointing a further upside move for the Dow Jones index. And the, moment, uh, the momentum is very similar for the European indices as well because the DAX index, while the UK and the European uh, and the US markets were closed, made at the highest high yesterday since it's COVID-19 and it has again as you can see in the chart has already closed all of its gap which occurred back during the COVID-19 uh, COVID low. Now what does this mean for the equity market? I think markets price action is very much like a circus. Why? Because whenever it comes to vaccine we have three different stages. Stage one, Stage two and stage three. Right now, we are still very much in the preliminary stages of the developing this vaccine. The results are so premature, but the market seems to like the vaccine is already here. But one thing is for sure, the market is ready to roar the moment that we get any sort of a solution for coronavirus, whether that is a treatment in terms of a drug, whether that is a vaccine. I think what, what the key takeaway from this vaccine news is that the moment that the, 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 the research starts to develop and it starts to progress between different stages, the market is highly likely to continue its journey to the upside. Why? This is what we have discussed in previous videos because the social distancing measure aspect kind of starts to see it starts to ease off because now all of a sudden the governments can say that yes we have a vaccine there is no particular need to develop that two meter social distancing much, uh, distance right so that can really activate the consumer activity the business activity now speaking of these activities and economic numbers we had another positive reading from the biggest and the largest economy of the Eurozone. Yes, I am talking about Germany. The German GFK data, the confidence, consumer confidence data came a lot more better than the previous reading and all, also ahead of its forecast. Remember, the IFR number released yesterday also confirmed this notion or this stance that the, the momentum has shifted. Perhaps we have already formed a bottom and this echo the same message in terms of economic data, what we experienced or we seen last week. Now, in terms of the commodity prices, gold price is still above that critical level of 1700. This is enormously positive for the price action, but I'm expecting some sort of a sell off to trigger today, especially if this risk on rally remain in place and remain intact and if the prices continue their journey to the upside and what the, because certainly investors not going to see gold as a, as, a, as a safe haven asset but don't write that off yet why because the geopolitical concerns the tensions between the US and China remain very much remain on the forefront and as long as this remain the case I think it is highly likely for the gold prices to continue the, the journey to the upside. That's all for today. See you guys next time.